Hey guys, welcome, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Chuck, and uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. Uh, first apology the other day, I kept tapping on my bench as I talked. No more tapping on my bench. I apologize for that. And uh, to, this is an episode of Tool Time, and uh, I named it uh, Good News and Bad News. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll get to the bad news at the end. We'll start with good news. A uh, quick little story prior to the good news is uh, I build homes for a living, and uh, out on the job site I happened to meet the uh, PG&E gas serviceman one day. Somehow we got to started talking and somehow got into machining and found out that we knew a bunch of the same people just by a total lark. We probably lived 60 miles apart from each other, but uh, he's a flea market guy and, uh, and he's just a tool nut. And uh, since then, and that was almost two years ago, we, we've kept in touch, seen him on the job site, and recently we've become even closer and, and gotten together a couple of times. Well, today, um, part of the good news is uh, he took me to the flea market that he goes to. And then after that, we went to a, um, oh, a dealer, uh, a fellow that buys and sells uh, machinery and machine tools. And uh, he said, you, you won't believe it once you get there. So anyway, um, I'm going to uh, run through the quickly all the different purchases today, which... Uh, made my day and uh, I'll uh, stop the camera and kind of reposition it so you don't have to look at me so I don't want to have uh, Stan give me crap that my face was in the picture the whole time <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, start looking at some tools and I'll run through real quick um, yeah, we could uh, also uh, do what's in my cup uh, as a contest too it's kind of an A-bomb uh, A-bomb uh, Fenner um, even uh, Tom put stuff in his cup, I think. Or, I mean, he has uh, soda in his cup. All right, be right back with you. Okay, uh, well, first off, let's start with the uh, flea market. Um, picked up a, uh, a Starrett. Um, Starrett 1 to 2 inch caliper. Uh, five bucks. Um, it's... Uh, only reads tenths, but uh, be a great little beater here in the shop. Put my, my better one away. So that wasn't bad for five bucks. The next little Starrett item that I picked up is a uh, granite uh, 90 degree plate. Two inches by six inches by nine inches. Um, I paid, uh, if I remember right, 15 bucks for that. I'm real happy with that buy. Checked it out and it's, it's tits. It's good, good shape. I'm going to get that out of the screen. Pull this guy out of there. Next thing I picked up at the flea market were a set of parallels. These are 13 inches long, two inches tall, and an inch wide. Um, check them out on the surface plate and they're just perfect. And uh, they were manufactured by the uh, Goodridge Manufacturing Company in San Francisco. Did a quick web search uh, and uh, I don't think they're in business anymore and it wouldn't surprise me anyway. Uh, paid uh, 15 bucks for these two puppies. Real happy with that, good buy. And then the, uh, had to buy a couple of wrenches. I was showing my buddy, I had this one in my hand, and I says, oh, I, this is what you need. They talked about it on, the other day on the web, or on Tom, uh, Tom Lipton's channel. And you need the uh, three-quarter seven-eighths. I says, you need this. And he goes, oh, you know, I got wrenches and stuff. And so I ended up, uh, asked the guy how much, and he wanted, uh, uh, I forget what he said, five bucks or something. And it's just a, it's a craftsman. It's nothing special. And I said, nah, you know, uh, I don't think so. And then he goes, well, there's another one there. And, and uh, so it's the uh, 5 16ths, uh, one inch. 
he, and I go, okay, what, what do you want for the set? And he goes, uh, all right, five bucks for the set. And I said, fantastic, I'll take it. So, well, thinking about it, uh, Adam, the other day, he bought a set of box wrenches. I think he paid 20 bucks and he got the full set. And I paid five bucks and I got two wrenches. But I had to buy these wrenches. There was no walking away. And Adam, you, you think you got a deal of 20 bucks? Well, my wrenches were already engraved. So there was no way that I could walk away when my name was already put on the wrenches for me. So, <laughs> so hence, hence I bought a couple of wrenches. Uh, happy with the purchase, though. So that's, uh, that's my flea market buy. Now I'll move on to the tooling store buy. Couple of couple of quickies. I bought a pair of tongs. Uh, don't have any, and uh, I don't I don't remember all the numbers that I paid at the tooling store. I paid. I was out. I think I got out of there at about 260 bucks when I got out of there. But so we'll run through it. So I bought a pair of tongs. Bought a pair of these hold downs that had the, uh, the the tit or the nipple sticking on it. I've always wanted those, and uh, bought a pair of those. Um, I was going to make them, and uh, now it saved uh, saved me from having to do that. So I'm happy with that. They'll get a little cleanup, a little wire wheel action, and be ready to go. When uh, digging around, uh, I mean we're talking shelves and shelves and drawers and unbelievable amount of tooling uh, there and you just you just walk in and help yourself and browse well anyway uh, I found this drive center for a, a dividing head and uh, it turns out it's it, it fits my uh, LW Chuck I bought the other day it's a brown and sharp number nine taper and that's what I needed and uh, 15 bucks uh, I think I remember I paid for that so that was sweet. I was really happy with that. Another thing I was going to build, and I don't have to build it now. I'm kind of happy with that also. I needed some wipes for my uh, travel dials, so I, I picked those up. They were in the bottom of, of a tool pack, package there. Um, and uh, also uh, picked up a mag base for an uh, indicator. I think, uh, think all that was uh, five bucks. He had a free pile out front, which was kind of cool. It was all the uh, uh, all the stuff from his shop. So I ended up with a full can of uh, Tap Magic aluminum, uh, tapping fluid from Butterfield, and a uh, tube of the um, Cool Tool Cool Tool Two that uh, I really like. So uh, and everything's basically full and unopened. So I was really happy with that. Uh, they were just bringing in uh, truckloads from a shop he bought, and he still has another four truckloads that he's bringing in uh, be, be, uh, of equipment and tools. Uh, Toolbox is full. Uh, it's just quite a bit of stuff. Um, I picked up a uh, Jacob's Chuck, uh, zero to half inch. Uh, it's a, a super ball bearing or right super chuck ball bearing um, uh, with, a sh with a straight shaft on it so I can just use it in a collet in my mill. Um, I was tired the other night fighting the one that I have. Um, I think I paid 90 bucks for this guy. It's in really nice shape. Put some of this stuff down here so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. Uh, yeah, this is the last of it. Um, small sign bar. Uh, uh, what is it? It's a half inch wide. I think it's a half inch wide. Three quart, uh, seven hundred thou. Um, little sign bar. I do have a sign bar that was uh, that was given to me wherever I wherever I hit it. I don't even know where it is now. But, anywho, um, the one I have is probably two inches wide, so I was happy to pick this up. And I picked up a set of uh, boring bars, carbide tipped. 
Um, they're uh, uh, Jap Japan and, and Korea is the mix in there. Um, I could have went through uh, and picked any, any bars and made a set. Uh, I was getting a little fatigued, and, and uh, these looked fine for, for what I paid. I think uh, he was asking uh, five bucks a bar is what he was uh, selling them for. And, uh, and then the, the thing that I'm really happy with that I've been looking for for some time is a, uh, a, a drop indicator that reads in tenths. Uh, I want to set this up on my surface grinder. And uh, this, this, this guy is just, just sweet. It's got a, it's got a, uh, three and a three and a half inch uh, face on it. And uh, I think I paid 60 bucks for it. Last certified in uh, 90. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, going to do a setup on my surface grinder. All right. Uh, I think that was everything. I'm going to kill the camera and I'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit about bad news. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, as I went over to the table to set everything back down, I realized there was two other items I purchased. Um, they're both Enco. Um, one, one set of uh, magnetic V-blocks um, uh, and a set of uh, uh, magnetic parallels. Um, so uh, pick those up also. I think I paid uh, 20, bucks, 20 bucks a set, which I thought was a real fair price. Um, I know one of these uh, Anenco sells for about 80 and the other one for about 50 so that was a good deal. Uh, so that was my, uh, my tool buying today. Um, we have a tool time episode here that actually shows tools. That was pretty good. Um, the, so the good news is had fun, uh, fun buying tools, fun hanging out with my buddy. Uh, my buddy is, uh, is a... Uh, really a bad toolaholic. He's, uh, he's a collector and uh, he's, he's got, I don't know, four or five Gerstners filled. He's got uh, four or five Lista cabinets. He's got a Monarch. He's got a couple Lays, a uh, Mill. Uh, you name it, he's got it. Um, he's quite the collector. Um, so let's, uh, let's move on to some bad news. The bad news is, <laughs> my buddies showed me a place where I can go spend a lot more money quick. Uh, the flea market was cool, and this tool, tool, uh, tooling house or machinery dealer um, is not that far away. I was going to tell you where it's located, and uh, my buddy looked at me and I said, "Geez, I was going to, I was actually, I sh meant to bring my camera and film this place. You were telling me so much about it. And he goes, no, 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 this is a secret. You can't tell anybody. So I can't disclose where we went. Uh, <laughs> the big secret. Uh, but my bad news is, is I've got a new haunt that uh, I'm gonna be hitting and buying a lot more tools. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch back with you soon. Take care.